Hey folks, this is Billy D.K.Y., the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This In the waters of baptism, Billy died with Christ. May he rise with him in newness of life. we have reason to hope. The favors of the Lord are not exhausted. His mercies are not spent. I certainly love math. It had an extraordinary gift for it. Billy was very intellectual. And I would say a philosophical thinker. He saw his body as a temple and sought to keep it pure. He sought to grow in spirits and made a real study and a real effort to do so. As part of that, he adopted a very simple way of living. In his own way, Billy loved people and tried to help them. Though he tended to be a loner, he loved his family. Billy's life, there were many loving acts he did. And undoubtedly, there are many more that are known only to God. And so what I'd like to do is invite anyone who wishes. I think there's some people, that, as I understand, that wish. <laughs> but I invite anyone who wishes to um, to share something, a memory you have about Billy. Doesn't matter what kind of memory, funny, sad, story, image, whatever. Just a memory. So I'm just gonna. I met Billy two years ago. I was getting ready to go on vacation. He was out in his front yard, and I said, Billy, would you water my flowers for me? From that one day, the love between us grew, it grew, and it grew. I could be gone for a week, I could be gone overnight, I could be gone for a month. I never had to worry about my yard. I never had to worry about my house. I knew somebody. Uncle Billy, he was 
He was a thinker. But uh, I kind of I don't really have anything to say. It's just, I mean, we never did go on any long walks. Doesn't mean busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talked a lot, and he never did. He never did judge what I said, but. He always just took and learned, and if I if I said something that helped him out, then he'd take a toll of that, and he learned from it, and I, I do the same. I'm not, I'm not a very emotional person, I'm not really good with words, but I guess George Jones said the best, you live and die by the choices you make. And some people make good ones, and some people make bad ones. I made a lot of bad ones, <laughs> but I learned from it. And you know, it made me a better person, and just... I don't. I, I wish I was there to help them. I kind of get to myself because I don't visit as much as I should. I don't do nearly as much as I should. But I just want to say I'm going to miss them. That's all. I got to know Billy pretty well recently, and even as little as I knew him after I heard what happened, I searched myself. What could I have done? What if I, I was going to email him later that morning, wanted to help him edit his book. I kept thinking, what could I have done that might have made a difference? Because he seemed so valuable and so smart and it was such a joy to, to talk with and so fascinating. Mm -hmm. And I thought how much harder it must be for Kendra and everyone else who talked to him on almost a daily basis. And he must you really searching your mind. What could I have said or done different? But the thought I had was that knowing, knowing Billy, he would have been very offended for anyone else to take responsibility for what happened to him. That is true. Mm -hmm. He was very much into being in control and in charge of his own life and his own destiny. So there's nothing any of us could have done and you could have done. And he wouldn't want you to carry that burden and he wouldn't want you to second guess yourself. And so I guess that's that's what I want.